Good evening and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story this hour. In a major show of support to pro-democracy voices in Hong Kong, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced his intention to overhaul British immigration policy to fast-track citizenship for Hong Kong residents. Johnson said that Britain would have no choice but to uphold its profound ties with Hong Kong if China goes ahead with the new security laws. Currently, around 350,000 Hong Kong residents hold a British overseas passport. The UK is willing to offer a 12-month extendable visa to all overseas passport holders in Hong Kong. This could pave the way for the right to work and a gradual UK citizenship. Johnson hinted that this offer could be extended to not just the passport holders, but also the 2.5 million Hong Kong residents who are eligible to apply for a British overseas passport. Effectively, almost 3 million Hong Kongers could avail this offer. As part of the handover agreement between China and the UK in 1997, all Hong Kong residents born before 1997 are eligible for a British overseas passport. Boris Johnson said that if the security laws are not withdrawn, Britain would offer this alternative to the residents of the city-state. China has hit back at Britain over this new proposal. Beijing asked Britain to abandon its quote-unquote Cold War mentality and colonial mindset. Within the UK government, there seems to be some ambiguity about the proposed immigration policy. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab had told the House of Commons that the extendable visa will be available to overseas passport holders only. But Johnson's offer is much wider and would benefit almost 40% of Hong Kong's population. The question is, can the UK follow through on this promise? If the security laws are enacted in Hong Kong, Many progressive citizens may choose to leave the city-state, but can the UK absorb a mass exodus of Hong Kong? The country is recovering from a devastating pandemic and is yet to negotiate a trade deal with the EU and US post-Brexit. Now, This is where the Five Eyes Alliance comes into play. The UK has reached out to Australia on opening their doors to Hong Kong residents. If these countries adopt a similar approach, the pressure on the UK would be reduced considerably. And we are being joined by Richard Kimber, live from Hong Kong. That's right, this is really the clearest signal yet that the UK is willing a good game with regards to saying that it supports the idea of democracy in Hong Kong, but it's willing to take real solid action, not just to support people in theory, but in real practice. And this is a big deal for Hong Kongers. Um, people here are very nervously now, not just thinking about what they're going to be doing in the next few months, but really starting to think about what they might be doing in the next few years with regards to, shall I even stay here? Should I stay in Hong Kong if China starts to encroach in ways that I feel uncomfortable? And this signal from the UK is the strongest sense that the UK might be the first place for many Hong Kongers to look because of this, um, this offer. So the thing to understand here is that, as you explained, this applies to people who, before the handover, had become British overseas passport holders. Now, here they are. This is the British National Overseas Passport in the front and the British passport behind it. Of course, they look exactly the same, but only one of them currently offers you full citizenship. What Boris Johnson is offering to do is say to the British National Overseas Passport holders, you can also have citizenship. And that's why there's been a huge rush here for people to either renew their passport if they've just been leaving it to gather dust since 1997, or to try and make sure that if they already have one, they become first in line to be in the waiting list to try and get this citizenship offer. The only thing that's not quite clear for people, as you mentioned, is how this will actually be rolled out in practice. Would you have to stay for three or five years? Would you have to have, for example, three or five years of continuous employment or study in order to be granted this kind of offer? So people are very keen to get the actual details of this before they start booking their plane tickets. And our Bureau Chief, Mandy Clark, has sent us this report from London. Listen in. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has promised Hong Kongers one of the biggest changes to the visa system in British history if Beijing pushes through the national security law. In his first direct message the, to the former British colony, he acknowledged a possible exodus. 
China has reacted to the news stating that it advises the UK to step back from the brink, abandon their Cold War mentality and colonial mindset, recognize and respect the fact that Hong Kong...